lots of perforation in the cavity floor here. And the difference about bindentin, it has to be uh, mixed. So we added a little bit of water into this capsule. It's like an amalgam capsule. And um, what you do is you add five drops of water. You put it in an amalgamator for 30 seconds. And then once it's all mixed, it comes out of this kind of consistency. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to load it into my pellet form. And then I'm just gauging my Mac 2 plugger to see if it fits in the hole. And then I'm going to use this Mac 2 plugger just to pick up the bidentin pellet. And then I'm going to very, very gently push this bidentin into the hole. And um, the thing with bidentin is, is, is the best thing to do is just not to play around with it too much. And then... As you can see here, it's a really, really nice fit. Again, we can just put a bit of GI over the top of this, or if it sets, it bonds really well to composite. And then when we look at the underside of this tooth, we can see that it's um, filled the hole really, really nicely.